y'all welcome back to another edition of as told by brie okay y'all today we're organizing my closet as you can see it looks a hot mess so enough waiting let's go ahead and get to it so put this mirror here i like it anywho this is the closet it looks a hot mess yes it looks a hot mess so we, we gotta get this together. It just looks ridiculous. Like, what is this? Oh my goodness. It looks ridiculous. Anywho, let's get to work. And then we have hats under here, just kind of chilling. You can't even see them. But the hats are gonna go like right here, so. Okay, let's get started. Just pull up to the container store. Okay, you can see it right there, the container store. But yeah, let's go inside and see what we can find. I came in here a little bit earlier this week and I was a bit overwhelmed because I wasn't expecting them to have this much stuff. So let's get to it. If I didn't smell so good. Okay, so I really want something like this. Like these clear boxes. I think this is nice. But they are $9.99 each. And I need about $25. So this would be like a $250 purchase. And honestly, I don't really care to spend $250 on shoes. Or not shoes, but like shoe organization. So let's see what other options they have. Okay, y'all, so I just got back from the container store and I got some pretty good stuff. So, let's see. So like I said, I wanted to get something for my shoes. But yeah, so I got this shoe rack. I got two of these. So it's four tiers and it should hold about 12 pairs of shoes on each one. I think I may be able to squeeze one more pair on here if I really try. And depending on what type of shoes you have, you could probably fit yours on here too. So I got this one and I also have Another pack. So I got two of these. I really didn't get that much. I spent less than $100. I got two hat racks to go over my door. I, I'm thinking that I'm actually only going to need one of these if it holds nine. I may only need one. But yeah, so this is the hat rack. It was like five bucks. Super cheap. And then, what else did I get? Did I get anything else? Oh, did I leave that in the car? Oh my God, I don't feel like going back down there. Okay, I'm irritated. Y'all, y'all see it when I put it up. But I also got these hangers. I got these are actually from Dollar Tree. So seven in a pack. I think I got like seven packs. I got what the, what they had, so I cleared the shelf. I think they had about seven packs left. So I picked up about 50 hangers for less than $10. And I think I already have some too, so I should be good to go. I should be good to go. And then I also got something for my jewelry, but I think I left it in the car and I don't feel like going all the way back out to the parking deck. Okay. Woo! Okay, I got this for my jewelry. And it is called the Couture Jewelry Organizer. I thought it was really cute. It's shaped like a dress, like so. So you put like your earrings and all of your jewelry in here. And then along the neckline, you can hang your necklaces and stuff like that. It's super cute. It should look really good. Yeah, it should look good. Yeah. I was gonna spray paint the shoe rack black along with the hangers, but I was like, you know what? Why create extra work for yourself? Like, you doing too much. So, and it's just a closet at the end of the day. Nobody's gonna see it but you. So, I'm not gonna spray paint. And plus, the racks are those shelves, shelves. They're white, so no need in like, you know, reinventing the wheel and making everything else black when everything else is white. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm really excited for this project because I have been looking forward to this 
for some time now about a week it's been a week since i've like really been trying to get to the container store and really get some stuff for my closet so here we are today is the day today is the day and we're gonna organize my closet so may the force be with me now this is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down and i'd like to take a minute just sit right there i'll tell you how i became the prince of a town called bell in west philadelphia born and raised on the place okay y'all i just finished putting these together they're solid i mean they do what they need to do so let's put them in the closet okay y'all yeah so this has been a process and i feel like i'm just getting started but i put my hats on the rack as y'all have seen and now i'm about to take all of my shoes and put them on here i'm hoping that this holds all of my shoes hope i don't have to go back and get another one but let's see yo We are done with the closet. Are y'all ready to see how it came out? Okay. Behold. Okay, y'all. We are done with the closet. I absolutely love it. it. It just has way more structure. Like the hats are all in one place. The shoes are all in one place. My jewelry is all in one place. Like there's no more clutter. Like my hats were all down here. I mean. Okay, my clothes don't look like they're organized, but trust me, y'all. I went through every single piece of clothing that you see right here, and I organized all of them by style first. So, like, down here I have, like, my coats, then I get my jerseys, and then my actual sweatshirts, and then it goes into, like, more casual jackets, and then it goes into, like, blazers, casual shirts, shirts I can wear to work and stuff like that. It goes into my pants and my jeans, work dresses, which is why these hang a little bit longer, casual dresses, like going out dresses and stuff like that. And then we get into like or more going out dresses. And then like all of my formal wear is over here. But it just makes so much more sense. And as y'all can see, the shoes look better. Like everything, the presentation is just better. Everything is just better. <laughs> the shoes are better. Like everything just looks really good, if you ask me. Of course, it's not like, you know, I, I did the budget friendly closet <laughs> organization, but just wait till I get like a crib crib. The closet is going to be like ah, ah, A1. But yeah, this is my closet. And now I can actually store my camera and my ring light because they didn't have a place before. So now they have a place. So I'm happy with it. Like I said, this may not look organized to y'all, but it looks organized to me. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think? y'all so if y'all heard me the other day i talked about this wine rack that i bought from ikea it was super cheap it was like 12 dollars, maybe 12.99 let me lift y'all up a little bit because it's a weird angle from right here anywho so yeah i got this wine rack and i just put these bottles of wine in there so i like it i got seven moons i got oh my god chateau, chateau sovereign Honestly, y'all, I don't know what I got. I just got bottles that were aesthetically pleasing and that I felt went with the aesthetic in my apartment. And that's just that. I'm probably never gonna drink these bottles. They are not anything that I like. So yeah, it's just for decoration, but I absolutely love it. Let me give y'all a closer look. And this is it. I don't know what happened here. I don't know how this came off, but I'm irritated. But yeah, this is the wine rack. Y'all, the mirror section in here is pretty extensive. Extensive, I said extensive with a T, not expensive. But like they have a lot of mirrors. Oh 
Let me show y'all the one I like. It is so cute. This one right here. I almost lost my balance. What y'all think? I like it. I think it's kind of cute. I really want a wooden mirror though. I like this. I like these, but I don't know. The the tint of wood is not perfect. It needs to be perfect. Like something like this would be more ideal. I don't know yet. I don't know. But yeah, they have a really nice mirror section. I thought this one was kind of cool. It's not my style, but I thought it was like, okay, I could see somebody else liking that. those are cute not for me but they're cute hey what's up y'all okay i am back from at home i got some really cool stuff so i wanted to do a little haul for y'all oh let's see how do i want to do this <laughs> okay so for those who don't know because i guess i didn't really explain like the theme that i'm going for in my apartment so i'm going for very dark very moody very masculine like almost bachelor pad masculine like a lot of dark colors a lot of woods a lot of dark grays blacks golds stones matted colors or matted finishes matte finishes whatever you know what i'm trying to say but yeah so that's the aesthetic i'm going for so yeah let's see what we got so these are gonna be for my patio I got these two lanterns, two different sizes. Okay, I had to switch the angle up a little bit. But yeah, so I got these candles to go in them. And they're actually LED candles. So they're battery powered candles. I'm not doing flames on the balcony. I really don't want to do glass out there. But I'm definitely not doing flames on the balcony. So, yep. That'd be super cute. At home. At home. Got these kitchen utensils. So these are gonna sit in my kitchen in the corner over here closest to like my balcony and all that stuff. So I got these and I'm ordering a vase tonight. It's so cute. Oh, can't wait for it to get here. But yeah, so these are gonna sit in the vase. Like so. Like so. Okay. So this is not from at home, but this was a gift. It was gifted to me by one of my classmates. We traded books. So he got this book for me. Oh my gosh, I just broke a nail. But it's called Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter, and it's by 50 Cent. He read it and he loved it. So he bought one for me and I gave him a book too. It's by Steve Harvey, it's called Act Like a Success, Think Like a Success. So, wait, is it? Yeah, Act Like a Success, Think Like a Success. And this is a book he got for me. So super excited to dive into this. Okay, I got these gray pillows from at home and I'm gonna zoom in so y'all can really see like the texture on them. They looked way better in store than they actually do on my couch. <laughs> so these are probably gonna be going back. It's just so far. One thing about at home, they need to build one of those things in the city because baby, I had to go all the way to Stockbridge. It was a 30 minute drive and that was the closest one. The next closest one I think was in Norcross and that was still another 35 minute drive. So at home, if you're watching this, we need one in the city. So yeah, it, uh, eh, eh, it's going back. Okay, so to go along with the moody and masculine theme, I got this. I actually got three of these. So I plan to do, I don't know if I'm gonna do them vertically or horizontally, but it's gonna be like one, two, three so i love this like when i saw it i was like i have to have it it reminds me of a bottle that i have up on my wine rack it's the seven moons i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with seven moons but it's a brand of wine it's a red blend if i'm not mistaken but yeah it was very similar to seven moons that's why it caught my eye i got these wooden containers so they match with the bar stools that i bought kudos to me i have bar stools now but yes, they match with the bar stools. So I got this for my remote controls and then my 
charges are also going to go in here because I feel like that stuff was kind of just hanging around, like lingering wherever. And it was giving me anxiety because it was just cluttered. It didn't go with the flow. Like, so I was like, uh -uh. like we got to clean this up. So organization is key. And then lastly, let me show you guys the bar stools. Okay, y'all. So these are the bar stools. Don't mind all this clutter over here. That's the clutter that's going to go in the box because it doesn't have a place. But yes, I love the bar stools. I think they fit the aesthetic very well, so far at least. So I wanna get a wooden paper towel holder. These are gonna go over there in the corner once the holder comes in. Mm, this is probably gonna change. This is probably gonna change, but I do like it for now. The Casamigos from my last vlog, these actually came from Goodwill, believe it or not. The snake skin tray or crocodile skin tray is from Ross, I believe. And then this cigar book I got from Amazon. So yeah, that's what we're working with for our bar stools. I like them so far. I think that the wood could have been a little bit darker, but for now it works. So let's go ahead and stage everything. Let's put everything together. This is my favorite part. Let's get to it, baby. Let's get to okay, it. Okay, so as y'all see, I got the candles together. Okay. Y'all, <laughs> I thought I needed AAA batteries for both. I happen to already have AAA batteries, but apparently for this one, you need AA, and I don't think that I have AA batteries. I don't think I do. So, yeah, let's go. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another moving vlog. Y'all seem to really like this series, so I'm going to keep pumping them out for you. But yes, of course, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.